Today is 12-11, 15 October 2020. <clears throat> and again, for those of you, here, if I can get this, oh, I just ran the volume down. I'll try and do this. Okay, it's 12-11, 15 October 2020. Here we go. All right. Okay, so now, I started that one. All right, okay, so I want to go here, and I want to just start with open. Okay, well, first of all, let's see here. Did my research here. Here's one that was sold <clears throat> on offer up uh, what two years ago. There's a picture of it like that. Here's the daily list. There was nothing in there, and so I did a little search and came up with just my uh, previous video that I shot. Um, so there's only the one video. That's all there is to it for so on the web. So now I'm gonna go to my pictures. All right, so I'll start with this one because that's pretty much everything in October. This is a, another Autoverse deck I was working on, and like that, and checking the voltage, got good voltage, but I can't get the darn thing to work, but that's another story. So here it is, the General Electric 5260A, okay, that's the front of it, and I want to bring your attention to this thing right here. This was added after the fact, this didn't come originally to the machine, okay. Here's uh, uh, some instructions I gleaned off the internet, okay? So uh, there's that, and, um, <clears throat> and see, this, see this in the back here, it's got your mics and your, your inputs. There's another switch that was mounted on this particular model, I don't know why. Again, here's just a, a picture I got off the internet. Again, no switch over there, all right? And there's just, who knows what that says, but Okay, and then here's just another picture of, I don't know what to show you, just, that's just kind of, you know, off the internet, so, and that's just like that, okay. Here's another picture just showing the uh, features, if you can read that fuzzy stuff. I can't read it, you have to search it yourself and find it, I don't know. And that's the last picture of that, okay, so, here's the top of it, okay, and it's got a complete antenna, all right. That's all we know there. Here is the send. That's the tune end. Okay, tune end. See, I took this picture on two days ago on the 13th. That's the other end. It's got a blemish. Who cares? All right. That's the bottom. Takes three screws across the bottom. One, two, and three. I didn't clean the bottom. I don't clean these things. All right, so here's the back. Now, uh, let me show you this. I have no earthly idea what that switch does. It's a slide switch. It's hooked up the wires that go to the power supply, uh, and the reason why I bring and then, yeah, and so this is a uh, it takes six D batteries across the bottom, and the reason why I, I brought these out is I want to show you that I do have a pair of power sticks. If you've never seen them before, these are General Electric power sticks. They take approximately three D batteries each, and they they don't come apart, or at least I've never tried to take them apart, but there they are. They're got some weight to them, but so I guess they're nickel cadmium batteries. But these are dead. They just don't work. I just thought I'd show it to you. They don't go. They didn't come with this radio, and they don't. I don't remember what radio they came with. But there is the back of it. Here's the. This is powered by 60 batteries, 15 watts consumption. That's not the power output. I'll show you that in a moment. Here again is the input left and right and your microphones left and right and here's this switch that obviously somebody added you can see it's you know installed nicely but still it's just I don't know what that does okay and here's the battery compartment with your high pot your date code if you know what that date code stands for I'd love to know it but and then here's the serial number not that it matters and here's some other whatever that is okay mm -hmm. so there you go and then Moving along, that's another picture of the battery cover, which is complete and snaps in place and all that. And the battery terminals are clean. Take six ba 6D batteries straight across. Okay. There it is. I took the screws out. I always take a picture of where the screws are, where they go. So they go here. These, this one here, that gold one, and that gold one there aren't original because they don't screw in properly, but that's all right. It, it works. Okay. And then here we just the front flops open. And once again, this also has another, here's the back side of that switch, right? 
what they do is they put a um, the best I can guess is that it's hard to see the tape counter so somebody installed a little tiny light so you can see the tape counter and I'll show that later because right, that does work all right so there's the inside of it and then here's a picture with a flash just so you can see what a flash looks like give you a little, little bit more detail so I can see and like that okay so then here this the uh, speakers just are just setting in this little hole here There's nothing holding them in place except for the front cover okay and then this is just inside the front cover in case I needed you know to know about how the door works or whatever okay the door works fine then here is the again here's the light bulb which is taped up there for the I guess the tape counter so you can see uh, the tape counter right that's that what else and here we are at the tape deck itself okay it's got a rotating head Let's see it's green on this one I think I have a picture with a red on the up for reverse no it's still green okay so there's another picture of that and then I removed the uh, the thing I just want to get a picture of the back side in case I need it there it is what else here's the motor it's a oh I don't think it well, anyway there is a picture of the back side of the deck with the just in case I needed to have that information right so here's the bottom of the deck again just if a case you, know, you need to know something there I don't know here is a picture of this side of the deck with your spring and your reverse and other then here's the uh, this side okay and it takes a it takes a belt it has a belt on there but the belt was too old too loose all right here's a picture on the top view there is the belt that was on there but it wasn't working because it was too loose okay and here again is another picture can I see that motor well, it doesn't matter it's not it's just a 9 volt motor so there's a picture of that view and Take a, you unplug something, you take a picture, make sure you get the right orientation of the wires and so on and so forth. So there we are. Then here's the recording. I'm already getting my fingers dirty. So, But here's the recording bar thing. And then also up here, this bar right there, that's the recording bar switch. You spray stuff right up underneath here and then work this switch back and forth. That's why it wouldn't work previously. You remove it, take a picture, right? Remove the spring, take a picture, make sure of the orientation, where the little tab goes. It goes behind here, not in front, it goes behind. Okay. And another, just a nice little flash view of everything, just in case you need it. All right. You can never have enough pictures, that's no flash. Okay. And again, the bottom of the deck, out of the deck. All right. And then that's, you know, the picture of that side, out of the deck. Picture of this side out of the deck this is all totally gear driven and somebody sprayed uh, lubricant all through this I had to clean a lot of that out because it was all gunky so just more lubricant for no reason uh, there actually is a reason but I'll get to that in a moment so here's a picture of this this has a rotating still green I thought I had a red picture okay, that's still, it's just fuzzy a little closer and still green, just that's you see it's all gooey in here with all extra lubricant and such. Nothing much to see. Here's the back side of the thing. Okay, just uh, here. That's what it takes. A 500 AD 9F clockwise motor. Okay, so you need a clockwise motor if you're going to rebuild this. All right. Here's the. Uh, Take the four screws, take the cover off. You can see the belt is obviously bent. Okay, it's not round like it's supposed to. And these are counter rotating deals, uh, flywheels. Here's the one off. This is a, a very gear driven item. So it's got a gear, two gears here that are driven off the flywheel. That drive, one drives this, the other one drives the rotating head, which is why it wouldn't rotate. Okay, to play the tape. Here is the other side. So here's the other side with more gears on it. So it's driven by the belt, which drives this side gear and that side gear, and the center gear is driven. And it, you can see all this gunk that somebody sprayed in here. To here's the other gear. There's the motor. Okay, too much fun. And again, this both flywheels removed, 
and it's just all gears, gears. These here are spindles right here, these two black things. Um, I can't remember. One of these drives the uh, the head. I think it's this side drives the head, but it doesn't matter. You've got to have a tight belt in there, okay? Here's the old belt that I took out. It's, it was measuring about 132, roughly, or just over 5 inches. And then here's the belt. Here's the old belt right above. So... And here's a belt that I ended up putting in, which is about 1200 or 4.75 or thereabouts, right? So that's what worked, okay? Then here is a picture of just, just because to see what's on the underside of that. And if those need to know how the, the tuner string works, that's how it works. This is the thing there, and it's got a wire on it that lights up, illuminates the tuning thing, okay? And here is the incomplete tuning thing this um, once you take all the screws out <clears throat> you can lift everything comes out let's see once you take all the screws out and separate the front from the back you can lift this out but you can't take out the tape deck unless you take and remove the four screws and hold it in place here is the tuning uh, indicator knob uh, cord detail for those who need to have it so it goes there it's spring loaded so on and so forth okay and then here is just another picture with a flash of the inside there, like that. Here I tried to get a picture of the chip, couldn't get one. So here I finally got a picture of the chip. I'll review that in a moment. It's a 2x7. Here I adjusted the speed of the motor after I uh, just you know hung the screwdriver right there. It fits right in. So I was able to get the speed going correctly. Okay. And yes, I clean with uh, you know air. And then I use this Puritronics contact leader with lubricant, okay? So that's why this picture, just so you know, that's what I use, okay? Another picture inside, notice it's clean, and here, I knew I had a picture. There is the red. So that's going in the opposite direction. You know, all the other pictures are green, that's red, okay? There we go. So that's what that looks like. And then, let's see here, that's the picture of the flash, okay? Just who knows? And I've already cleaned all the controls and the recording bar switch. Another picture of, again, it's red, okay, going the other direction, okay. And here I'm using a, uh, uh, just a thing to show you that this lights up. Okay, so that's the purpose of that button so that you can see the tape counter if you need to see it. And I've got my demonstration tape in there and the Dolby has its own little green light, and then these have its own individual lights here. And uh, if I didn't go through this before, it's got uh, mono, stereo, stereo wide, metal, chrome, and normal. Dolby, okay, volume, balance, bass, treble, function, tape, radio, and auxiliary. Yes, you can plug in your phone or your CD player. It's got AM and FM. Here's your microphone hole. And over here is your other microphone, your headphone jack, and yes, the battery, the stereo, and the tuning light all work, as well as the little indicator for the tuning thing, so you can see it, okay? So, that's all there. And then, oh, lastly, this will, oh, gosh, this will go one way and stop, or go both ways and stop, and that's your reverse momentary button, just hit it to hit, hit the other side. It does not, it has MLS, but it doesn't work, at least not for me, um, but it will cue and review, uh, it doesn't say cue or review, but it will cue, but you can play it, push the button while it's in play mode, hit that button or hit the other one, and it will uh, allow you to hear the music as it zips by, you've heard that before, right, and it goes squealing, okay, so here's just a flash picture of the same thing. And then here's a picture of it, uh, again, just that's a fuzzy picture. That's a clear picture, all right? So, and that's what, is that? Oh, just the tune lights is what I'm showing here. All right, so here, that's, uh, that's the last picture, okay? So now, then here is the um, power amplifier. I found this off the internet. That's what that looks like, okay? Uh, go live with, I'm not doing that, okay. Um, and then here's just another picture um, for what you can see there. All right, and then we're back to that. So now let me just uh, zip along. Bang, bang, bang. Well, no, go back here. Just go back. Oh no, 
one, two. That's a good picture. I'm going to leave it there. So now, let me take this, move this back, because I've been recording on that thing there. So I want to wide this out, right? So wide that out. Okay. How wide will it go? Okay, great. Put you all on the tripod. Okay, so you can both see what I'm doing. Come on, get on there. You're on, you're on. Okay, so put this on, put this down here. Out there. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so now here is the tape player thing. I've got it turned on the radio. Let's see here. Give it some volume. Uh, so you can see the energetic. Let me put the antenna up all the way. Every single okay, so day requires. There it goes. Features the best in the grilling game. We got the brands like Traeger, yeah. Hasty Bake, Weber, and the Big Green Egg. Fires at the flip of a switch. This is weird, isn't it? for a feast. Work like it's supposed to, I think. But... So there's your stereo button like that. And then of course I've got my got my headlight on so you can see the demonstration tape. Alright, so let me hit uh, record and play. Okay, so let me zero out the tape counter. Okay. Turn the light off. All right, so now I'm talking. Well, no, we can't do that. Um, put it on tape. Now there's the noise I was talking about. If well, I'll record on this side. This is the 5260A. Okay, I'm talking to the headphone side. 15 October 2020, and then I come over here and talk to this side of the 15 of the uh, 5260A. I'm talking to the other side where the little red button is and such like that. Can okay, I come back to the center? We'll hit stop, right? Hit stop, hit rewind, hit stop, hit play. There's the noise I was talking about. Wait, let's go back just a bit more. Okay, good. Hit play. Summer. So what do you So there I'm recording the experts at Red Mountain Weight Loss. We offer patented programs like RM3. Put it on tape. Now there's the noise I was talking about. If well I'll record it on this side. This is the 5260A. Okay, I'm talking to the headphone side. 15 October 2020, and then I come over here and talk to this side of 15 of the uh, 5260A. I'm talking to the other side where the little red button is and stuff like so, that. So much for that. Yeah, come right. back to the center. Right, so let's just kick that out. We know that works. All right, so now I had another tape here. Where is it? Okay. No, no. Well, I had a tape. What happened to it? Yeah, I had to start it all cleaning up in here and well did I put it elsewhere? Yeah, I think you have everything all set up and then you misplace one thing and then that's it all goes to heck. Well, that's not it. But okay, so here's here is in excess. All right, just throw this in. All right, throw this in. Now, when you hit record and everything, or when you hit, no, wait. Let me do this first. Here I've got a CD player. Okay, uh, let me turn it on. Hit the play button. It's in tape, but let me. Information. Go to TexasMotorSpeedway.com. Here's that. Hit play. So that's, oops, it's a cheap. The button stick on this thing. Come on, you piece of junk. show you how the auto reverse deck works all right so hit a jack I put the NXS tape in here all right so you hit play okay
Okay, on this one you hit both plays. All right, so hit play and put it on tape. And then you hit, if you hit reverse, it kicks it off, right? So, but if you hit this play, it plays the other side, okay? Now, if you hit both plays like that, you can hit this and go back and forth. sell that music. I hope I didn't sell the music. Let's see here. Where is a tape with the end? Well, I had a tape. I swear I had a tape. It was all queued up to be at the end. Let's see here. Let's do this. How about this? All right? If we hit rewind. Okay. This has got the Dolby on. I don't know if you can see that. Well, you can't see that. I right? didn't move this camera down. You could not be seeing this at all. All right. I can't remember to move everything around. Oh, yes. well. Okay, great. So that, well, see that? It just has automatic stop. So that automatic stopped. All right. So now if we hit play, it'll play that way. But if you hit the reverse button, it'll kick it off. All right. Now this is in the one direction play mode only. So if I hit stop eject, flip it over it's obviously at the end okay if it's in the one button up deal right you hit both play and it's going to play from here to the end and it's going to kick off and play the other side right see there it went now it's playing the other side now what I want to do is I want to stop uh, I want to eject this flip it over still with the button up both up like this so now it's playing the other side and gets to the end and it stops. There we go. That's what I was trying to show. Okay, so it does work like that. Now if you have, again, if you, you can play, let's see here, um, is that